Welcome back. It's BIPOC Month, which recognizes black and indigenous along with people of color and brings awareness to the unique struggles that underrepresented groups face in mental health. A big part of self-care is physical and mental health combined. And this self-care Saturday on BNC, Dr. Charmaine Jackman explains there's an interconnection between both forms of health. Dr. Charmaine Jackman, it's good to have you with us back here on Self Care Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you, Brittany. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, we love to get your great, great advice. So, Dr. Jackman, we know you uh, talk about physical and mental health are both very important things, and you can't have one without the other, right? Tell us about that and why it's so important for your overall health. Absolutely. And, you know, again, I want to just highlight um, July is BIPOC Mental Health Awareness Month, so it's so important to have these conversations. Mm. So oftentimes we tend to think about our physical health as something that's separate from our mental health, but they're really connected. Our minds and our bodies are really connected. And it's so important to pay attention because if you're having some medical complaints or medical issues, they can often lead or can contribute to some secondary mental health concerns. For example, if you're having lots of pain in your body, um, some people may have fibromyalgia or lupus or some other immunological um, diseases that cause pain in the body. That can often impact how you feel about yourself, your emotion, mm. it can sometimes lead to um, anxiety and depression. So it's really important, you know, I always advise my clients, make sure that you have your annual checkup with your physical doctor, right, your, your primary care doctor. And then also making sure that you're doing the work to make sure that you're emotionally well through all the process. So BIPOC Mental Health, BIPOC is Black, Indigenous, and People of Color. And it's really a month that was actually started by Bebe Moore Campbell, who was a novelist who wrote a lot about mental health in her novels, in her fiction um, in her fiction novels. So I think her family dedicated this month to her after, after she passed. But it is so important to raise awareness because again, there's so much in misinformation and lack of uh, knowledge about mental health and our emotional well-being in our communities, um, and it's so important that we are that people like me, mental health professionals and advocates, are spreading the word, raising awareness, because the more that we are aware, the more information we have, then the more we are able to attune and attend to our physical and our mental health. Mm -hmm. And so what, Dr. Jackman, are some of the prevention methods should people, you know, should, should be used in order to secure good mental and physical health outcomes? Absolutely. And I think when people think about physical health, right, they think I have to go sign up for an expensive gym and mm -hmm. spend lots of hours <laughs> in the gym every month or every day. But I really encourage people that when we think about our physical health, you want to think about things that keep you moving, right? Activities mm -hmm. that get you moving, but there should be things that you love to do, right? So I love walking. It's something new that I've tried and I really got into it. I just signed up for this 5K and every week we're training as a group together to prepare for this 5K that's in September. So, you know, I encourage people to do, do things that are easy to access. So if you don't have to pay any money for it, it's probably the best thing because that means you're gonna do it more often. Doing it with a friend or family member also adds to that accountability and it helps you stay consistent. So, and it's also fun, right? Yeah. I love walking with people. Like it's not as fun if I'm walking alone, right? So there are times where I definitely wanna walk alone but other times where I want to walk with people. So doing it in, in community, um, doing it consistently. And again, it doesn't have to be every day, right? And sometimes I tell people, start out with 10 minutes a day, right? Because if you're, if you're moving from zero, right, you want to do have goals that are realistic and that helps you get going. If you start with a goal, I'm going to do seven days a week for two hours, you're not probably going to be able to sustain it and you're going to give up easily. So start small stay consistent and do it in company. I think that is very good advice because sometimes it's hard for you to even just, you'll say, oh, I, I got a plan. I want to work out seven days a week. And then you just get burnt out so easily because you're like, that was too yes. much. So I love what you right. said, start small. Um, and Dr. Jackman, you know, what's your mental health and self-care tip for the week? Since we talked a lot about physical activity, what are some things that people should be doing to make sure that they kind of get that mental health in check? 
Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a lot of the physical health, it also starts in our mind, right? It's our mindset. So if we tell ourselves, I can't do something, more likely than not, we're not going to. So how do you shift your mindset? So my goal is to help you think about what are the mindset shifts that you can do that can help you change, right? Can help you start to take on new goals. So I can do this. It may take me a little while. Mm -hmm. Um, I can do this. My body may not be cooperating right now, but I know I can. I can start small. Um, And I always encourage people to, I know we've talked about, about this before, but journaling is a really great process to help you see where you've started and help to see that progression. Because sometimes we don't feel as though the success, we sometimes we look for success that's really big, but that through a journaling process, it can help you see those small changes, noting how you're feeling, how you feel in your body as you're taking these small steps to this longer term goal. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, think about your, your physical health as a lifestyle change. And, but really connected to that is your mindset and really thinking about really challenging some of those negatives or limiting beliefs that you have. And like I said, always great, great, great advice there, Dr. Charmaine Jackman. Thank you so much for joining us again for Self Care Saturday. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me, Brittany. Have a great day. You too.